All right, so let's get started talking about essential oils in the great outdoors. So it is May and the temperature is starting to warm up and we're starting to see some pests flying around in the sky. Maybe you've got flies already. I know I've seen a couple. Mosquitoes are surely to be on their way with all this wet weather that we're getting. So one way to protect yourself out while you're outside with your family um, is to use Terra Shield. So this is doTERRA's outdoor blend. And this is gonna help keep those pesky bugs away from you and your family this summer. This blend has oils like Lang Lang, Eucalyptus, Arbor Vitae, Litse, and more. So it's got a powerhouse of very effective essential oils that those bugs do not like. And what else is great is you can get this, the best protection without that chemical smell that you have with other sprays. This bottle makes it very convenient to just spray on your skin and rub in. And you can apply it as needed. So if you notice that it's starting to wear off, you just spray a couple more. Now this blend also comes in a bottle like this. And doTERRA has a couple of great options for portable diffusers that you can just plug them in and charge and then take with you. Um, the one I'm thinking of uh, specifically is called the Pilot Diffuser. So this one is super portable. It comes in a little zip bag and you can take it with you wherever you go. So you can fill that diffuser up and put some, you know, about five drops or so of Terra Shield in that diffuser and take it with you when you're out camping, when you're in your backyard barbecuing, and just having that aroma of those essential oils diffusing around you is going to keep the bugs away. So really awesome. So maybe you've tried your best efforts and you've put on bug, the bug spray and you've covered your body to keep the bugs off, but every now and then they get through. So some very easy um, relief for a bug bite would be 10 drops of peppermint and 10 drops of lavender. And you can put this in a 10 milliliter roller ball. And then you just top that off with fractionated coconut oil and you apply it directly to those pesky bug bites. Now I can tell you from experience, I was bit by a wasp and I didn't have any bug bite relief on hand. So I searched into, in my car all over the place because I have oils everywhere. And what I could find was a peppermint beadlet. Now generally I keep these in the car in case one of the kids or myself gets a little car sick or maybe we go out to eat and something doesn't agree with us, or maybe we have bad breath and a peppermint beadlet can remedy all those things. So they're very handy to have in the car. But what I didn't know was that they're also really great relief for when a wasp bites you or stings you. I'm not sure what he did, but I can tell you it hurt. So I just took that peppermint beadlet, only one, a lot came out, and I just popped it in my fingers and rubbed it right on that bite. And let me tell you, it was instant relief. So if you're not into DIY or you don't have time or something pops up like it did for me, doTERRA has a lot of options for those situations too. So peppermint beadlets, keep them handy. You won't be sorry. Another essential oil that is very great to have on hand during the summer months is Deep Blue. So this blend of oils is great for um, soothing sore muscles. So in the springtime, I know I love to start a garden and a lot of times I am down on my hands and knees and I'm pulling weeds and I'm planting seeds and I'm just hunched over. And after doing that for several hours, your back muscles and your legs can be very tired and stiff. So Deep Blue really rescues me during those times. It's also wonderful after a very long hike, or let's face it, if you're sleeping, sleeping in a sleeping bag in a tent camping, uh, at this age, I wake up a little stiff in the morning. So having some Deep Blue to rub on my back really helps me. Another blend of essential oils that is wonderful during the summer months would be the Tri-Ease blend. Now this comes in a soft gel. If you're somebody that suffers with seasonal threats as the pollen starts to fly in the air, 
Um, this is a blend of lemon, lavender, and peppermint, equal parts in a soft gel. And you take this internally, you can take one to two a day as needed, and it just helps to keep those seasonal threats at bay so you can actually enjoy your time outdoors. Now, alternately, if you don't like to take soft gels, you can put those same three, lemon, lavender, and peppermint, um, in a diffuser or in a roller ball and put that on you topically or diffuse it and you'll have the same benefit. So very versatile and easy to adapt to different people, different situations. So in the summer, we spend a lot of time in the sun, such a wonderful time with family and friends. Now, you should always remember to put on your sunscreen, but from time to time, we may forget, sunscreen wears off, and the sun damages our skin. I love to make a sunburn relief body spray. This just helps your skin to recover. It also has a very cooling effect, so a lot of times when we get very deep burn, our bodies are just radiating heat. And so having that peppermint in this mix really helps to cool your body off. So this is a blend of lavender, which is very soothing for the skin, peppermint, which is very cooling, aloe vera juice, which will penetrate deep into the deep layers of our skin and moisturize and help bring um, more comfort to your skin. And I, I top it off with water. So this is about a four ounce spray bottle and I keep this in the fridge, or if I'm out away from my house, I put it in the cooler. So keeping it cool adds that extra benefit of cooling your body off. So I use this preventatively. So maybe I'm outside in the heat and it's starting to get a little warm. Spray this all over and it helps cool me off in the sun, as well as afterwards if I get a little too much sun, I can use this and soothe my skin. Now, being out in the sun for long periods of time, we want to avoid certain oils that are photosensitive. So a photosensitive oil will make your skin more sensitive to the sun, which can cause you to get sunburns. So stay away from those citrus oils like grapefruit, lemon, lime. You don't wanna apply those topically and then go outside and play in the sun. But Staying hydrated is very important. Those citrus oils are wonderful to help motivate you to drink your water. I know sometimes water can be a little boring or we just forget to drink it. Adding a couple of drops of grapefruit or wild orange to my water helps me drink it a lot quicker. It helps me take more in because it tastes really good. It's very refreshing too. So some of my favorite oils to add to water would be spearmint, grapefruit, lime, and if you can get some sparkling water, even better. It tastes like a sugar-free treat. Other oils that can be very deeply soothing to the skin would be myrrh, lavender, melaleuca, and you can apply these oils directly to the skin or dil diluted with fractionated coconut oil one to one. I hope you enjoyed this very quick and condensed overview of how I use oils in the summertime. Now, I have just scratched the surface here. There are so many more uses for oils in the summertime, but I don't wanna overwhelm you, especially if you're new with essential oils. So what I've got for you is a printable with six recipes. Some of them will be for food. I've got some great popsicle recipes to keep you and the kids cool this summer that include some essential oils. And some of them will be for diffuser recipes that just smell wonderful during the summertime and even a cleaning recipe for your grill. So I wanna show you just how vast the uses for essential oils are. If you would like one-on-one -on -one support and you would like to learn how essential oils can help you, please reach out to me at any time.